Yeah. Alright, cool. Other than your shirt's tucked in, your legs look like 10 foot long. Is it okay? Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video. We've got a really fun project today. Uh, I don't know if you have kids, but if you do, this is a great project. It's something y'all can do together. I'm actually going to teach my son Max how to build a worm farm. Um, worm farms are really awesome for, well, growing lots and lots of worms. Uh, you can start them with as little as two worms or however many you can dig up or buy at the shop. You can buy worms at Walmart for like four bucks a dozen, something like that. Uh, we're going to dig our own, and I'm going to show you some cool places to look for them if you want to dig your own. It just makes it a little bit more fun because um, it's a really easy project. shouldn't take you very long at all. And then, uh, you know, you can use worm farms for a lot of different things. A lot of people use worm farms for composting. Uh, you can do a lot of your like rotten food and stuff, just throw it in there and they eat it. They also eat cardboard and things of that nature. Um, and I'll list here a bunch of different things that are great and that they can eat and, and, and what worm farms are used for. Uh, so, to quicken it up, let me ask my, my little boy to come over. Max, come here, son. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Max, and today he gets to dig a whole bunch of worms up and we're going to make an awesome worm farm, and it's going to cost us less than $5 total. All right? Now, these are really great if you're going to take your kids fishing. You can get a shit ton of worms for uh, no money, pretty much. And you'll always have worms for fishing. He's getting them, and we're going to build it for his pet turtle. He's got a box turtle uh, that likes to eat worms. So any reason you need worms, this is a great way to do it and save a lot of money. Where are we going? I'm following you, kiddo. Okay. Show me where you find the worms at. I literally go over there, then I just circle around the yard digging. Okay. Well, a good place to find worms is any place that's in the shadow, and you want to find a place that holds moisture. So, if you have woods around your house, like these trees over here, son, let's go over there, and we're going to dig in under the pine needles, and anytime you can find, like, big piles of leaves, or you may find pieces of wood that have been set out in the yard for a while. You want to find the thick ones where you can find the moisture. Buddy, what are you doing? There's not going to be any either. No, not there. This is too thin. You want to find something thick. Like where? Like where? Over here where there's a pile of it. Or it's been there for a minute. Worms like it in the dark and wet areas. Yeah, so you may find some worms under here because this is pretty thick. So what you do is you just take both hands and you just rake pretty much. That one. Alright. And we'll throw it in the bucket and just keep digging. We're going to dig 40 or 50 worms out today. Just kind of rake the stuff back and you'll find plenty. You don't need to dig in the dirt. Just clear away all of the pine needles. He's throwing it at me. I didn't do nothing. Now see, we live out in Mississippi, so the worms we have here that are native are going to be the red worms. Clear all of these. There's big piles of stuff out here on the ground. Just clear those up and let's see what we can pull. Baby worm. Oh, no, not a baby worm. More worms. Oh, 
Okay, so after we finish digging these, we'll go ahead and show you how we build the worm farm, and then that'll be it. So, see you soon. We've dug up enough worms, and the next thing, all we have to do is make the nest for them so that they can farm up. So, go ahead, son, pull out that plastic tubby. This is a plastic tubby you can find anywhere. Walmart has them a lot of times for three or four bucks if you get them on sale. And then what we're going to put in it is just some regular potting soil, some topsoil, some nice stuff. Uh, yeah, we'll put it in there first and then just tear it with your hand. And we're just going to dump one, one bag in there and then put the worms on top. Now you want your soil to be moist, but not wet. And what I mean by that is, you want it to be about the same level of wetness as maybe a, a sponge after you've already squeezed it out. So you don't want it to be dry at all. Um, but you don't want it so wet that water sits there, you'll drown your worms. So once we do this, we're gonna lay it out so like so. And see it's nice and wet enough, it still sticks to my hand. All right, son, go get the worms and let's dump them in. Now worms can actually get their nourishment from the soil itself. Just dump them in, they ain't gonna get hurt. You've been chunking them everywhere anyway. And what we got now is plenty of worms. I can't get that to focus. You gotta turn the focus rings, huh? But anyways. Plenty of worms. And we're just gonna let that, they're just gonna move in and they'll start breeding after about a month. Now what you can do for additional food, here, some we're gonna put it right back under in the shade there. You wanna leave your nest your worm farm in a cooler shaded area. It doesn't need sunlight, it doesn't need heat, it needs to be able to maintain a decent level of humidity and be in a cool spot. Now after about a month they will have already started reproducing and I'll have probably two to four times the number of worms we just put in there. And they're gonna do that over and over and repeat for ever until they run out of food and die which they're not going to do because we're going to throw more food in there over time. Lights. <laughs> 